Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with this problem that you might be having with ACEs. Uh, there's probably a hundred ways to fix this issue, um, but I'm going to show you one relatively easy way to do it. Uh, if you look here and you look here, uh, there's some issues over here as well. You're going to see some uh, saturation clipping, which you can expect with uh, neon lights and you know these kinds of night scenes. This is with the Pocket 4K, um, and uh, you should be able to do a similar thing with whatever footage you have. Uh, just you might not need to do some of the steps that I'll show you. But for this, uh, we will be using the Pocket 4K uh, to do it. And thank you to subscriber uh, Osama for doing this. This was uh, very helpful to be able to make this video. Uh, so thank you for providing the footage. So let's transform this thing. Now, if you're familiar with the Pocket 4K and the current date on which uh, ACES exists with this camera, using this doesn't really work. Uh, because there's no IDT for the Pocket 4K uh, or Gen 4 for that matter. So we're not going to use this method. We're going to go to YRGB. We're going to pick Timeline Color Space of ACES CCT. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is uh, show you why you don't want to go into ACES AP1 and uh, ACES CCT from here. Even with this, you should be able to see some of the issues that we'll have later on. So we're going to go here, go ACES CCT to Rec 709. And you're going to see that uh, we have some problems with clipping in here. Uh, to reinforce that, we're going to create a saturation node here, pull it to zero so you can see what is being clipped. There's some issues here, here. If we go here, there's like this black spot. There's some here. It might be hard for you to see, but it's more obvious uh, you know, uh, without the YouTube compression. Uh, and our taillights have a little bit too. If this was closer, you probably would see it more obvious. Okay. So with those issues, um, we obviously can't fix it in here because it's already clipped by the time it gets here. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice this one until right now. Look at that. Look at this. See that? So if we were to make uh, adjustments you can see that there's this clipping weird stuff happening in here so if we were to change saturation or whatever we might end up with artifacts and people have complained about this with aces so um, this is obviously a case where the gamut we're going into is not really being mapped into it properly and we have truncated values that is causing clipping uh, and gets this nasty kind of look so how are we going to deal with this well, the first thing is to not go into uh, ACEs from here. So what we're going to do is we are going to first um, get into a proper color space to transform and see if that will solve our problems. So we'll go make color space transform and an ACEs transform. We'll label these CST. Um, this one will be IDT. This one will be ODT. And we are going to go from the pocket 4K to red wide gamut RGB and red uh, lug 3G10. And this IDT is going to go from red wide gamut to uh, red wide gamut lug 3G10 to ACES CCT. So now we have a proper transform. Um, because this, you know, actually has an IDT. Okay. So now we can see that we still have the same kinds of issues, but at least we're transforming it in the proper way. So we'll pull the saturation back, see if we can recover it here. And we can't see we've got this issue here. Okay. And we've got this issue still over here. It uh, looks like this problem is less obvious. There's still a little bit of it in here, but you can kind of see it still. So that didn't really fix our issue. Okay. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, an LMT to deal with it. Uh, and this LMT was created specifically for dealing with this kind of problem. We're going to try that first and see what happens. So we'll uh, leave this over here. Uh, so we'll leave this over here. We'll have this IDT here. We're going to create a new node. We're going to call this uh, a 
P, uh, we'll just call this aces, okay? So this one, we're actually going to go from red, log 3G10, to aces. Here, we're going to go from aces to aces CCT, okay? Now, this color space is much larger than aces CCT, okay? And it's the color space that was designed for this uh, LMT that we're going to use. So we'll go into LUTs, and you should have this, okay? It's not, I'm not using a special thing. Um, we're going to choose the LMT Neon Suppression LMT. We're going to put that here, okay? And now, If we turn it off and on, you can see how much of an effect that made. You see how in here, in here, uh, that LMT really did a job of getting rid of a lot of those artifacts. See that? Now, any remaining artifacts you might not even really see. Uh, let's see if you would. Uh, we'll turn off the saturation one. Uh, and then we'll turn on and off the neon suppression. And any other artifacts, uh, you know, we're not really likely to see them. See that? Pretty much fix our issue. Okay. Now it did change, alter the color in here. There's that yellow that was, you know, adjusted. And you can make your decision if you like this better or not. I think it, it does look better with that uh, yellow kind of pulled back. But you can see how that's pretty much just fixed all of our problems uh, with it. Um, if there are a few more issues, uh, which if we kind of zoom way in over here, you can see a little bit, we can, uh, let's label this, uh, actually we'll call that ne neon suppression. Then we'll just pull back our saturation a little bit and boom, we fix the problem. See? So any of those extra artifacts that may or may not be visible, uh, we have taken care of, okay? So we'll call that uh, DSAT. And then we will actually take all of this junk, put it into a compound node, call that aces in. And then here's where our grade will be, and then we have the out, okay? So there we go. We have it all fixed. And all of the clipping issues that we may have had uh, in the past with uh, this, this shot with uh, these neon lights has now been dealt with. Okay, so very, very simple um, workflow for it. I mean, yes, you have to add a bunch of nodes to make it work, uh, but it works. So obviously this is not the only way to fix issues like this uh, when working in ACES or whatever, but it is a way that you can do it pretty simply and pretty easily. So uh, there you go. Uh, please let me know if you do have any other questions, comments, or concerns with this, and uh, I'll catch you next time.